Hello you guys, welcome to my hospital bag video. I am 36 and a half, almost 37 weeks pregnant and it's time to get this thing packed and ready to go. I had to make my red raspberry leaf tea to drink. I try to drink like four bags of this every single day, which is a lot because it's not very good. But if you put some frozen fruit and some strawberry liquid IV in it, really changes it up. Definitely don't use a whole thing of liquid IV though because that would be absurd. So I'm gonna start out by showing you everything that's gonna go into the bags and then we will actually be putting it into the bags at the end of the video because I just wanna show you everything first and then show you exactly how I'm packing it at the end to maximize all my space. I have done this once before, but if I'm forgetting anything that you think that I like desperately need, please, please, please tell me in the comments because I should still have like two-ish weeks until I have to go to the hospital and so maybe I'll have time to pack it. Fingers crossed. Something that's helped me a lot has been like packing cubes and like smaller storage bags that can like go into my suitcase. So if I need something, I can just tell Levi like, hey, go to the blue bag, I need this out of it. So honestly, I didn't even use like multiple of the same color bags. I just used different small bags to pack things in so it'd be easier to instruct someone else to get something for me. So we're gonna start out with my bag of clothes. And this is like very, very minimal, but it's all that I think I need. And it might even be a little bit too much, but it's fine. The first thing I'm bringing is just a plain black robe. It's nothing special. I got it in a giant size so that it would fit me um, postpartum, but it's just a giant robe from Walmart and it was like $12. So I got this robe to wear after I deliver. Like I'll wear the hospital gown during like labor, during delivery, and pretty much until they tell me like, hey, you can go shower and change and stuff. And then once that happens, I'll just change into this robe because it's gonna be so easy to like sit there and breastfeed and still get checked and all that great stuff that you have to do while you're in the hospital if I have like a robe like this on. I didn't have anything like this last time and so I just stayed in hospital gowns the whole time. It's fine, but like for under $20, you can get just a cheap little robe and get it in black so that way you know it gets stained, it's gonna be fine. Also for while I'm at the hospital, I brought this little sleeping um, like nursing bra. This is actually one that I still had left over from when I had my son like three years ago, but it's the like Walmart brand one. It's just nice to sleep in, super comfortable, super cozy. And then I have another nursing bra that actually has like the clips that you can clip up and clip down. So I do have this as well. It's gonna be like less comfortable. This is probably the one I'll wear to go home in. I'll probably wear the other one while I'm actually at the hospital. I also have a couple pairs of socks. I don't really know if I'll use these. I don't think I did last time. So they're just normal socks. I don't want any like fuzzy socks. I don't like fuzzy socks. I know people are always like, get the gripper socks. I'm not gonna get the gripper socks. I will just wear my slides. In terms of things to wear home from the hospital, I am just going with either a pair of leggings or a pair of joggers. I'm bringing both. That way I can decide once I'm like in that state of mind, which ones I wanna wear. And then I just have a Comfort Colors t-shirt in size extra large so that I can wear this home from the hospital as well. I'm literally not even bringing underwear because they're going to put me in mesh underwear or adult diapers. So I feel like my clothing bag is pretty minimal. And then the only other thing I'm bringing is a garbage bag so that I can put my dirty clothes in a garbage bag and try not to like let any kind of smells or stains or anything like that touch anything else. So garbage bag is going in with clothes. Something that I'm debating on taking is gonna be a black cardigan because I don't exactly know what the temperature is gonna be, but if it's like any chance it's gonna get chilly, I think I might want a cardigan to go home in. Again, this is something that's gonna be easy to like nurse in. So like when I'm getting ready to leave the hospital and I'm sitting there waiting on getting like discharged or whatever, I can use the cardigan, put it over my going home stuff and easily like nurse and stuff in it and then still you know, keep a little bit warm 
with the cardigan. So I think I am going to take that. All of my clothes are going to go into this little packing cube that I got off of Amazon. I can link these below, but it's just a basic packing cube. The whole thing was like $12 for like five of these. So I've had that brand of packing cube before. They work. They're great. So I'm going to stick with that. Also in terms of shoes, I'm only bringing one pair. I'm going to wear them to the hospital. I'm going to wear them to shower. I'm going to wear them home. Like that's all I'm bringing. I just didn't feel like clogging up any space with other shoes because my feet are going to be swollen anyways. It's not even going to matter. I probably won't wear them for most of the time that I'm actually in the hospital. So I'm just going to bring the like black Birkenstock slides, like the plastic ones that I'm going to wear to the hospital. And that's going to be it for shoes. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is pack my toiletry bag in this like plastic clear bag. I think this is where I might've gone a little bit overboard, but it's fine. If I don't use it, it's not a big deal. This is all the space that all of it takes up. So let's see what I'm packing. First up, deodorant. This is a must have. It's going in first. My toothbrush and a little thing of toothpaste are next. These are just like makeup remover wipes or face cleaning wipes. And I just want these so that I can just wipe my face down when I'm like sweating or something like that. I want these easily found. So we're going to just put those in next, but they take up a decent amount of room. So hopefully they're not very hard to find when I need them. Sticking with that like skincare theme, I have this little thing of e.l.f. like face wash and moisturizer. And then I have these sample packs that take up like no room of C serum. And I actually really like this stuff. So I'm going to bring it and I might not use it, but it's like, it's not really an extra step. It's like, it's a sample. So it's not that big of a deal if I use it or don't use it. I am bringing a little brush and hair bows. Those are right here. I will definitely be using this. I know I need it. And one of like the freebie things that I got, I think it was actually the Walmart one that I got for registering at Walmart. It came with these little samples of like shampoo and conditioner. So I'm just going to take this because I don't really want to like waste space with shampoo and conditioner, especially since I might not even use it. So I do have some native body wash that I am going to take. This stuff smells amazing. It's coconut and vanilla and I almost bought the shampoo and conditioner to go along with it, but I did not. I probably will like when I run out of shampoo though. The next thing I have is some lotion. Hospitals are dry. I know you've heard that like a million times. Um, I'm not really a lotion person, but like if my elbows get like dry and like ashy or something like I'm going to want the lotion. So I'm just going to bring it. I'm not really like a huge makeup gal or anything like that, but I have this CC cream and some mascara just because if I want to take a picture and I look like absolute trash, I'll just put that on. Most likely what's going to happen is I will put mascara on. I will not put anything else on my face, but it's there just in case. And then I have prenatal vitamins that I'm going to put in here just because I feel like this is the best like place for them to go. And then the last thing is an absolute must have dry shampoo. I'm not going pretty much anywhere without dry shampoo. So just stuff that in there and that is that bag. One other thing that is a definite must have and is kind of like in the toiletry section would be some chapstick. I didn't put it in that bag because I want it to be the most easily accessible thing that I have. So this is going in like an outside pocket of my actual bag that I'm packing so that I can get this anytime I need it. Okay. The next bag that I have is going to be like a postpartum bag and I'm barely bringing anything for this because the hospital gives you so, so much. I had everything that I needed last time. I just want to be prepared with some things that I would just rather bring on my own. And by some things, I mean literally one thing. This is the best thing that was ever invented for postpartum. So this is the Freedom Mom upside down peri bottle and I'm never ever using the hospital one ever again. I like I had to pack it in my hospital bag. I was like, this is going with me. Nothing else is really going with me, but this is going with me. The ones that they give you just aren't that great. Um, they will suffice. Like I definitely used that last time for sure while I was in the hospital, but I was like, I should have brought this. Like once I got home and I started using this, I was like, my life would have been so much better for those 48 hours if I would have had this with me. So that is going in here. 
I am also bringing two like adult diapers because they don't actually give you adult diapers at the hospital. They give you like the mesh underwear and the pads and everything, which is fine. And I will definitely use that while I'm there. But I think on my way home, like right before we leave, I'll probably change into one of these instead just because I think these are so much better. So adult diapers will be on my postpartum cart and all of that stuff in my bathroom, but I'm just gonna bring a couple of them for when we leave the hospital. I'm also gonna bring some of the like disposable like breast pads or whatever. I don't know that I'll need these at all. Like people say like your milk doesn't come in while you're in the hospital, you don't need them. I'm gonna bring the disposable ones just in case. And that's it. That's all I'm bringing. In terms of like breastfeeding, I'm gonna bring my Hakka and I'm going to bring some of the linolin cream. Um, they give you like little bitty things of it, but it's not much. And I just figured like, I'm like, I have this, I'm gonna use it anyways. I'll just bring it. I will not use it unless like I need some, but if I need some, I would rather have it with me than have to like try to call a nurse in and get some. You know what I mean? So like, I'm just gonna bring it. The last bag that I'm packing for myself is gonna be an electronics bag. And we're gonna start out with the most important thing, which is a gigantic 10 foot phone charger. There are barely any plugs in the hospital room that you can use. So having a long phone charger is key, very essential bringing that and then I have the block to go with it. The next thing that's gonna go in this bag is going to be related to camera stuff. So I am going to be bringing my camera to the hospital. It's not gonna go in this bag because like I want it handy. I want to be able to video all the things on the way there, the night before, etc. So this is not going in the bag, but camera accessories are. So two extra batteries in its little charging case and then an extra memory card as well. This is the charger for the camera batteries. So it's going in here as well. And it will also charge a lot of other different things that I have laying around. This is something that I think I am going to take just cause it takes up like almost no room. But I think it'd be really cute for an announcement picture if I printed off a little, little picture of her in the hospital. So I'm gonna like take the picture, print it off on this and then like take a picture of this in the hospital, if that makes any sense. But anyways, that's going in here. It can also be charged by the same cord as my camera charger. Another piece of technology that I'm taking for me is this Kindle. And I know it seems ridiculous, but like, if you happen to get induced, if you have an epidural, there are just some times when you're in labor that you're just like, hmm, I need something to do. So Kindle, I'm going to bring this and read Harry Potter while I'm in labor. And that is it in terms of things that I am bringing for myself. Now we're ready to move on to baby girl. All of my absolute essentials for her are gonna fit into this little wet dry bag that I got off Amazon. I think this is such a good bag. It has a clip right here where you can clip it onto things and it has a front pocket and then it has like the main main pocket. So we're just gonna pack her stuff in this little wet dry bag. So for her, I am bringing two things. I'm bringing a newborn sleeper and both of the sleepers that I'm bringing have little like mitten hands so that she can't scratch herself. So I'm bringing a newborn one and a size zero to three, just in case I've heard people say like, you know, maybe they're gonna be tall and that's why they're gonna fit into a zero to three. If I birth a baby that's this big, I'm gonna literally, pass out. So we're gonna hope she's coming home in this outfit, which is the outfit that we used to do like our little announcement. So that would be cute. And we're hoping for that for sure. I am bringing this headband for her, like the little bow headband. I don't really know that it's gonna fit her, but you know, I just figured I would try because it's so cute and so little. It said newborn to six months, which I like, I don't know that that's gonna fit a brand new baby's head, but it's fine, we're bringing it because it'd be cute for a picture. And that would work with either one of the onesies that I'm bringing, so we're good with that. The next thing I'm bringing is just a little swaddle blanket. This one's like Jersey knit and it's gigantic. It's one of the Cloud Island ones from Target. I'll just show you, like this is half of it. Like I couldn't even show you the whole thing. So this is it folded in half. I am going to bring this so that we can swaddle her up in it and take her little announcement pictures. Um, and it'll also be pretty handy for going home, but 
like they'll give you a baby blanket so it's not like that big of a deal i just thought it'd be cute and then it matches both of the onesies that i have so no matter what she goes home in it's gonna match and it's gonna be adorable. I'm also gonna bring a pair of baby nail clippers that we used with JP just because they aren't allowed to clip your baby's nails in the hospital and they sometimes they're just like jagged and you just need to have them clipped. So we are gonna bring some nail clippers for baby girl. In terms of like clothes and medicines and lotions and all that stuff, like I think that's all we need because the hospital will literally supply you with so much stuff. So that's what I'm putting in this bag. In the little front zipper pouch, I'm going to put the nail clippers and then I'm also going to put a little Ziploc baggie and another wet dry bag just for anything that we might need. Like if they send us home with her little like beanie thing that she wears and like I like to put it in a Ziploc bag so it still smells like, you know, fresh newborn baby. This is another thing that I'm gonna bring that will just like clip onto the hospital bag. It's a portable sound machine and I definitely plan on having her like sleep with a sound machine at home. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take it to the hospital. It's already charged, but if it were to die or need charging, it takes the same cord as like the camera cord. So that's already packed away over here. As far as I can remember, when we were in the hospital with JP, he just used like the pacifier that they gave us in the hospital. I think I'm gonna take some pacifiers to the hospital with us. I just have like some options here that we had from like freebies or from like showers or whatever. So we got this Dr. Brown's one, which I think is what they give you in the hospital. I think, I'm pretty sure. So I don't know. I might not even need to pack that one. Then we got this little nuke one. I think that's how you say it, not really sure. And then the itsy ritzy. So those are all gonna go in here and they're going to be packed and we'll see what happens with that because you know, every baby decides on a different passy and some babies don't even take one. So we'll see what happens. I'm just closing it up in here and we will hang this on her little diaper bag. This is actually a little passy sanitizer, which is gonna be so nice. It's just like a little UV light in here that you can sanitize passies with when they get dropped on the floor or outside on the ground in the car, whatever. The next three things I'm really debating on whether I need to take or not, but they just seem like they'd be so practical, such a good idea. So the first one is this little light. You can't even see it right now because I have it all the way dimmed, but you can like brighten it up. You can dim it down. You can tap it twice and it goes on and off. It's fantastic and it's just like perfect for a nighttime feed. And I just really think that this will be so much better than like trying to see in the dark or trying to find like a light switch in the hospital room that's gonna be like so much brighter than it needs to be. Like this isn't gonna take up that much room. I think I'm probably gonna bring this. And the other thing is this stroller fan that people say you should bring because if you go into labor and you're like burning up and you can't control the temperature of your hospital room, this is fantastic to have. Like, we're driving to the hospital. I can just put this in my car. If I need it, leave, I can go get it out of the car. If I don't need it, then I won't use it. And then another thing that I'm gonna bring and leave in my car until I decide if I need it, it's going to be the boppy pillow. The only reason I would use it is for nursing. Like, I'm not gonna have this in labor and delivery like when I go in. Uh, this would just be something that I would have afterwards so that I could nurse her easier because the lack of pillows at a hospital is real and this is gonna be easier than them trying to like find me a pillow somewhere to like prop up on. So I am gonna bring the boppy. We're gonna leave it in the car until I know that I need it. So for the diaper bag, I will bring a diaper bag. Like I'm gonna bring it. I will probably leave it in the car as well just because like they're gonna give us literally everything that's in here. I just, you know, I just wanna have a diaper bag. So this is not like an actual diaper bag. This is just a book bag. It's an Adidas random book bag from Academy. But I'll show you what I put in it. Hand sanitizer and chapstick are going in the front along with some more hair bows for me. This is a little wet dry bag and it actually has some wipes, some newborn diapers, diaper cream, and just some of the little diaper smelly bags so that you don't have to smell the dirty diapers. I have like a little muslin swaddle blanket. In the side pouch, I have these two like burp cloths that are rolled up and put in here, which actually might be helpful on the way home. Like if she spits up somewhere in the car seat or 
something crazy we have to like pull over and feed or something like I don't know and then I just have this little medicine bag that doesn't have a ton in it right now um I have this little nose sucker in it some saline nose drops baby lotion I have some like breast milk storage bags in here which if I start like actually producing milk and catching some in the haka I'll probably put some of that in here if they don't give me like something to put it in in hospital they probably will some nursing pads some band-aids for JP because he's a dangerous little guy some stain remover pads and then at the bottom I just have some Tylenol for me in here so that's it so I think the diaper bag is where I'm going to put like these things so like the passies will go in here this little light I think I'll put in here and the stroller fan just because these are like things that I don't know that I'll necessarily like absolutely need. That's it for all baby girl stuff. Now I'm gonna show you how my stuff fits into my bag that I'm actually packing. So the bag I'm taking is this Baboon to the Moon bag and it's like a the mini go bag and it's like the perfect size. So it's really cool because it's a book bag. Like it's a book bag like this, yes and then you lay it on the front and the book bag straps go around and then you have the big compartment right here. So the way that I'm gonna pack this is my clothes are gonna go on the bottom. Once my clothes are in, then I can put my postpartum bag in here. I won't need this until later, so it can go in the bottom. It's not gonna be a big deal to be down there. Next up would be the electronics my Kindle and baby girl stuff. And then there's a zipper pouch right here. I'm gonna put the chapstick in here. All right, so then I'm just gonna put the sound machine on the outside on the top. Everything is good to go, packed up and ready for baby girl and our visit to the hospital. So my husband will be packing some snacks for us because you know, he mainly is the one who gets to eat the snacks. I'll be on like an all liquid, all clear, disgusting, basically starve me diet for most of the time that I'm in there. So he gets to pack the snacks and those are actually already packed. And he actually has a video of his dad hospital bag. If you wanna check that out, I'll link it here. So pretty much everything fit in here perfectly. This bag is such a good size for like a hospital bag and then anything else that I thought was like extra that I might use, that I might use on the way home or something like that. All that's in her little diaper bag that we're using for the time being. I don't really have like a set diaper bag, but I really kind of want the base one. And if anyone has that diaper bag, please let me know if you love it or hate it because I do not want to spend the money if it's not worth it. But it seems like such a good bag, especially with two kids. Like I know that this is not going to be enough when we actually like start getting out and going places with a baby and like a toddler. So this is not going to cut it, but just for this trip, it's going to be fine. So I think I need to look into like actual diaper bags, but... If you have the base one, please, please, please let me know. But that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know if there's anything that I'm forgetting or if there's anything that I'm bringing that you're like, girl, leave it at home. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful or if you liked it, just give it a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe to my channel if you're interested in any of that. And I will see you in the next video, which we hope is not a birth vlog. Bye. Wait, I need to get my Kindle out of here because. There's no way I'm not reading until I give birth.